and also here the first minion starts breaking its cactus and then the other two. So now we can equip minion 2 and 3, give them their chests and compactors and now basically the farm is finished. Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video Hypixel Basics. Before we get started with the video I'm going to do another event week giveaway this week and I will be giving away an itchy night crystal and an itchy day crystal since they are made from quartz and as you can see here my whole island is from quartz. This week will be the itchy night and the itchy day crystal which are some pretty cool talismans giving you some strength as well as quite a bit of crit damage if you have them reforged. To take part in the giveaway you will have to find a Christmas tree, I will be hiding two Christmas trees in this video. There is no limit as to how many Christmas trees one person can find, so you can find both of them. If you find one, write the timestamp in the comments below and you will win one of the crystals. The first one gets the day crystal and the second one gets the night crystal. Last week's giveaway was solved in about a day, so let's see if you're going to be faster this week. Good luck and let's get started with the video. So today I'll be showing you how to build the most efficient and cheap cactus farm in Hypixel Skyblock. First off I built this cactus farm down here which is the regular one which I guess most of you know already. You just build a tall skyscraper of cactus and I did a quick test with this one and this one gives about 8 cactus every 30 seconds which will be exactly the same amount as the one we will be building but this one takes a lot less time to build and uses a lot less resources. It also allows you to mine other things than cactus at the same time. So what will we need to build this thing? We need some building blocks, I'm going to take 60 quartz here, as well as two normal chests, two trap chests, and then you need some minions that take exactly 15 seconds, or if you manage seven and a half is also okay, but for the beginning we'll take minions that need 15 seconds to mine, some hoppers, some sand, and then some other stuff that is not necessary but good to have, for example some minion chests and compactors. So starting off we will be placing one of our building blocks with a sand block on top. This has to be in a 15 times 15 radius within the spawner of the desert island. So if you don't have the desert island yet then I'll put a link here to another video I made covering all the important things you need to know about the desert island. Then you want to go two blocks forward and place a chest and next to it a trap chest. And following that you want to place hoppers pointing into the chest as such. So if you have that finished give it a quick check that all hoppers are pointing into each other and the whole thing is surrounding the cactus. Next off you are going to place 5 hoppers in the following formation, it doesn't matter in which direction the hoppers point here, just make sure they are pointing into each other somehow. And then you are going to place your building blocks so you have a 5x5 five five area where your minion will be standing in the middle. After that we are going to go to one side where the cactus has spawned and place three hoppers pointing up as such and then let two hoppers point into this little hopper tower. At the bottom in the corner you can also place another hopper to collect the cactus that is going to fall down and we are going to do the same 5x5 five five area of blocks up here as well. So with this finished we only have the other side left to do, make sure that you are building these according to how it looks on my island, it's very important because the cactus always spawns the same way and the cactus arms at the top are also at the same position every time so it's very important that you place these blocks right. On this side we'll be building another hopper tower and then adding the 5x5 five five area again. So this is how it should look like now, we basically have the final setup, now we only have to add the minions. If you like you can add some more hoppers underneath the cactus to be sure that you always collect the cactus. So if you do see some cactus falling beside your farm then you can place some extra hoppers, it hasn't happened to me yet but maybe this can happen sometimes. And now to the part why this glitch really works so great, the cactus spawner from the farming island spawns the cactus exactly every 30 seconds. So if I break the cactus and wait a bit then I can set a timer and see when it spawns in a minute. 
As you just saw, I broke the first cactus and it spawned exactly on 29, and now I broke that one again, and this one spawned at 59, so exactly 30 seconds later. When you have found the time of your cactus spawning, you can take your minions. I have the core minion level 1 because they take exactly 15 seconds to place a block, and place it about 5 to 8 seconds before your cactus would spawn. And as you can see here, 15 seconds later, the core minion will place its block, therefore, it will break the cactus and then another 15 seconds later it will break its own block and then the cactus can spawn again Because I was speeding some clips up during editing this video it wasn't exactly on 59 but the cactus do spawn every 30 seconds and this first minion is ready now, so we can equip it with our chest and the compactor and get to the other minions. So if you did all the timing correctly for the first minion, you barely have to do any for the next two minions. As soon as the first minion starts breaking one block, you want to place this second minion in the middle of your 5x5 area. And as we can see, the first minion breaks its cactus first, and following that the second one breaks its cactus. This is also important because if the second one breaks its cactus first, then there's a higher risk of this cactus falling onto the lower cactus and breaking and we'll lose it. And as for the second minion, exactly the same can be done for the third minion. You wait until the first minion starts breaking its block, then you place it. And also here, the first minion starts breaking its cactus and then the other two. So now we can equip minion 2 and 3, give them their chests and compactors, and now basically the farm is finished. So now if we go down to our chests, every time the minions start breaking the cactus, we can see that exactly 8 cactus will arrive at our chests. This of course only works when you're online, otherwise only the minions will be farming it, but the cactus can't be broken. So every time you get back online, you will have to readjust the time of your minions because the cactus spawning time can change or the minion breaking time can change. So just check your timer and set the minions to the right time and you should be good to go. The amazing part about this farm is that it's really fast to build. You get the resources from the minion as well as the cactus and the cactus that you get is a lot faster than any cactus minion or cactus farms the size of the one I have below my island. So this was quite a complex build again. Any questions feel free to post them down below. Good luck finding the Christmas trees and as always thank you very much for watching and your great support. See you next time. I can't